For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get Rock on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Pretty much what Rock is, is it's way faster than Cydia, and it's just identical to Cydia, but it's just way faster. Um, it's easy to use, um, it reloads faster, there's barely any waiting at all for Rock. Um, and it also has this really cool feature called, um, I don't know what it's called, but I know it backs up your apps. So if something happens, I'm pretty sure you can just like go on Rock and it'll like restore your app somehow, but I'm not sure how that works out. And this is a feature you can enable, so it's pretty cool. So what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to get your device and you're going to go into Cydia. You're going to wait for it to load as usual. Okay. Once it's done loading, you are going to go under sections. Under sections, you're going to scroll down to the S section. Under S, you're going to click on system. And on the sidebar, you're going to go to the R and you're going to click on the R. Or you could just scroll down to the R section. And one of the first results that comes up is called Rock App. That is the one you're going to install. So click on it, and you're going to click install, and you're going to confirm it. <clears throat> I'll also show you guys how fast, um, how fast Rock is, and I will show you how to set it up as well. Okay, now you have Rock. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to get out of Cydia, and on your second page here will be Rock. So you can do whatever you want with it, I'm just going to put it on my home page. Okay, and when you get Rock, you're going to open it up. And if you want SSH passwords, um, it just detects it, you're you have like your classical SSH password if you guys know um, SSHing through like CyberDuck or anything um, you know how the classical password or the default password is Alpine this thing can fix it and change it so you can change whatever you want I'm just gonna click no thanks but that's just an option for you guys okay so when you open it up it's just gonna look like this and to set up you're gonna go to manage and you are going to need to make a rock ID. So now you are going to go rock ID. You're going to click on the rock ID button and you're going to make a rock password. So you're going to click create new rock ID and you can agree. And you can make your account name. So I'm just going to make it jailbreakist. Okay, my last name is J for jailbreakist. And now you can make, um, now you have to put in your email. For rock ID, it has to be your email. So I'm just going to put in my email. There we go. And now you can create your own rock password. So I'm not going to show you guys this, obviously. Okay, and now you're going to click create new rock ID once you are done. Oh, what's wrong? Okay, I just need to fix something. Okay, I'm done now. And once you're done, you're going to click create rock ID. And it's going to start to create your account. And I don't know if that was part of the sign up, it just exited rock. But if it didn't do that for you, um, then I don't know. It's probably just natural or something. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the rock speed. So let's just say I'm going to install, like, let's just say lockdown. Okay, lockdown. L-O-C-K. 
đang đi ở đi Okay, and did you notice how fast that loaded? It just came up. Okay. And now, just to pass the loading time, you can click install if it's not already on this one. And it'll just give you like a rock notice saying thank you. And now you can compress, and now you press confirm. And it will speedily download your app. And. Here's the thing I was talking about, the save package list. Um, it can automatically save stuff to your rock ID. So like if your iPod crashes and you need to restore it, then you can just restore your apps. So I'm going to use this. You guys can use whatever you want, but I recommend you say yes. And self restore required, okay? And as you guys can see, that was a really fast download. So um, good luck with Rock, guys. I hope you like it. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.